In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a simple teleport effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So before we jump into Premiere, we just need to capture some footage. And all we need to do is just mount the camera onto a tripod, press record, and just run into the scene. Then you're just going to do your jump. Then you're just going to step out of the shot and leave the empty frame for a few seconds. This is your clean plate and this is going to be really important when you come to editing the footage. So now that you've got your footage, let's jump into Premiere and see how that looks. So here's the footage of me jumping. And essentially what we are going to do here is find the point where I hit the highest point of the jump. We'll press C on the keyboard and make a cut. Then we'll go to the point where I disappear, which is here. Bring those together and when we play back, we've essentially made that effect. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Now, if you wanted to take this one step further, then you can actually add some assets or effects on top of this just to create a more unreal, surreal effect. Now, I get all of my overlays, assets and production elements from vfx.productioncrate.com or just production crate. This is not sponsored by them. I just love their stuff. So you can see there's loads of different smoke elements here that we can use, but I'm just going to download this one. Dust Aerial Hit 1. I think that looks great. You can see some of them aren't going to be perfect because they're either built for the floor, they're built for the wall, or they're just not quite right for the effect. So just go through and find that effect that you are happy with. And then once you've got a few of those, we can just go to our downloads and we can just drag them into Premiere. So you can see this is our first element. I'm just going to select that. We'll go up to Effect Controls, Motion Opacity, go to Blend Mode, and we'll change the Blend Mode to Lighten or Screen. So I'm going to go for Screen in this example. Then I'm just going to find the point where the impact first hits, which is around there. So I can tell it's coming from here. Then I'm just going to drag that over to that transition. So when I disappear, I'll go back one frame just to create more of a blend and then move that dust element over. Now I'm just going to move that on top of the footage like this. And when we play this back, that looks great. Although instantly you would notice that this smoke is appearing in front of this wall, whereas realistically, because I'm back there, it would appear behind the wall. So I'm going to make a copy of my clean plate, which is this layer. So I held option or alt if you're on Windows and drag that up. So with that copied, I'm just going to go into Effect Controls, go to Opacity, select the Free Draw Bezier tool, and I'm just going to draw a mask following that line. And then I'll also copy this table as well, because that should be in the foreground as well. Then feel free to make any adjustments. And then once you're happy with that, we can now go back, go back to Fit and play this back. And you notice that looks a lot better now. The smoke is going exactly where it needs to go. So now we can go ahead and add another layer on. So let's go to this layer here. We're going to drag that to the same point. We'll scale this up a pinch. Then we'll pull the opacity and the blend mode down to screen. And we'll just move this on top of that transition. So when we play that back, you can see we've got two different elements now doing their thing. Then we'll just drag the third one on and again. Let's see how much of a difference this makes. There we go. So we'll change this again to screen. We'll go to the point where this first appears. Make sure that's sitting on top of the action. And when we play this back, that is how that looks. And that, I feel, looks pretty good. Now, it's really worth noting with these smoke effects that they're all following the same direction. So as you can see in this first layer, it's being fired off to the left. And if we look at the second one, you can see it's also going off towards the left. Because if this did happen in real life, the wind would have an effect on this. And if the wind is blowing one smoke element to the left, but the other one to the right, it suddenly looks very fake because it's not following those same rules. Whereas these are all flowing to the left, therefore they could all be affected by the wind. It makes sense. Now essentially that is the effect now complete, but I do like to group everything together and add a little bit of fake movement just to really sell the effect. So I'm just going to highlight everything, right click and select nest. You can rename this if you want, but I'm going to be very lazy. Then I'm just going to go back to the beginning, create a brand new keyframe on scale and position. We'll go through to the end or towards the end of the action. We'll increase the scale to around 108, 110, somewhere around there. And when we play this back from the very beginning, you will notice we've got this really cool effect. 
now in place. And there we go. That is how you create this simple but effective teleport effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please consider subscribing or checking out this video. See you there.